All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back here for another review of the Wrestle Vessel here for Gaming Palooza. Today, reviewing Call of Duty Black Ops number two. And it's a 2012 first person shooter game, video game, that was developed by Treyarch and published by Activision for Japan. It was released in late November of 2012 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. A Japanese voiced up version was released separately on December 20th, 2012. It's the first game in the Call of Duty franchise to feature future technology and the first to present branching storylines driven by player choice as well as selecting weapons before starting the story mode missions. It also offers a 3D display option. It's in the first of the series that features significant elements of non-linear gameplay, most will be multiple endings. The single player campaign features two connected storylines with the first set from 1986 to 1989 during the final years of the first Cold War and the other set in 2025 during the second Cold War. The protagonist is Alex Manson and he returns as the protagonist in the first Cold War section and chronicles a rise to infamy of the game's primary antagonist, Raul Menendez. The 2025 of the game features Alex Man Mason's son, David, as a protagonist, in which Mendes is plotting against the United States and China, with the ultimate goal seeing the United States locked in a Cold War by revenge to many of misfortunes. There's a lot of robots and cyber warfare and unmanned vehicles. It's just very cool. So you get both the 80s version and the 2025 version. Um, there's different kind of endings, like I said, in the game. There's a Strike Force mission. Uh, the, the whole thing about the Cold War, just interesting stuff, the shooting, good audio and soundtrack. So we'll take a look right now as the edge shot uh, gets started and plays this game. As you see a hand burning on the screen, ready to die, as this guy is set on fire, my goodness! <laughs> you gotta get that guy out of there, he's dying! And we got a big fight coming up. Look at that soldier. He is ready to go. He is pissed that his friend is being burned. The flesh being destroyed. There goes the helicopter. This is going to be one fight here in Call of Duty. There's a first person point of view as the vehicles and the army gets ready to go. Into chemical warfare. Follow that tank. Watch out for the bombs. Uh oh. Here come the guns. Everybody's shooting. It's an all out warfare. Oh my goodness. Look at those big swords that these guys got. They ain't afraid of That's a weak gun you got, Aftershock. You better go take him out. Just brutality and a lot of shooting going on here. Follow everybody. Come on. Jeez, even in those tanks, nothing is safe. Look at this. Look at all the crazy shooting and fighting going on here. This is a war. There's the F-Track with the sniper. Oh my goodness, look at that blood gushing out of that guy's chest after he was shot there badly. You gotta go after the murder crews. There goes the helicopters. Oh my goodness, just all-out warfare. This is a great game here. Another one of these cool first-person shooter type games. And to see the full video, check subscribe again to Gaming Palooza. The F-Shock just shoots everything in sight here. And this is one hell of a battle. So I hope you enjoyed the sample of this game.
as Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is always excitement. This is the Wrestle Vessel reporting. We'll be back with more views here on Game Blues soon. Have a good night, everybody, and enjoy the war. As we lose control, there's the helicopter point of view, too. A lot of good things about this game, alright. Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you soon.